That's why I think it's the owner of Strand Bookstore. Thank you. Oh, come on, no celebrity, though. Oh. <laughs> thank but you for promoting books with me. Yes, thank you. And, and I wonder, how have, what would you say has been the turning point that people are now going back to reading real books? People are so hungry for community, and they want to be and have a, a tactile experience. Um, they see bookstores as kind of their home, as a community center. Uh, people want to be transported I into a book. Um, they want to expand their minds, and their kids expand their minds. I think they find bookstores are magic. But we'd thought, because Amazon started by selling books, right. and the thought was that that was going to kill off the bookstore. And then Amazon itself eventually decided to try it. Uh, we have obviously the big booksellers. So death of the bookstore is greatly exaggerated. Yes, it is. I, I think, you know, as you travel around the world, too, the, it's becoming so homogenized with, with, with stores and things. And independent bookstores um, really speak to bibliophiles and people that love learning. And they're, I think people love independent things. You know, you want, you know, how the you pre are everywhere. Right, right, but how do you prevent the shop becoming a shrine to elitism? so that everybody feels like, well, I don't really know what I want. And I, I like a good page turner. I, don't, I want a good body ripper, <laughs> not some great thing. Do you know what I mean? Right. I think, you know, you have a welcoming atmosphere. I think that it's, it's the booksellers. They just uh, love to tell the people what they rec recommend. I think that you have just an inviting atmosphere where, um, where uh, there's books of every interest in all different levels. Well, the summer books, the summer book list is still some way off. <laughs> but um, Delaney, just pop in these books here and tell me which ones it is you've got and which ones you think we should be reading. Well, this is the bestseller at The Strand right now, 101 essays that will change the way you think. And it is, right now, people feel very ungrounded. There is great advice in there. Um, I think it's just so wonderful. I, as far, I'm a memoir junkie. I'm glad my mom died is about the iCarly star and she, with an overbearing mom. And now, before she, we get yeah. to the next one, okay. tell me, I'm the sort of person that will start all of them. How do I finish them? They're all, they're all page turners, every one of them. But I've got three books on the go at the moment. <laughs> and I feel guilty about opening another one. Until, in fact, I've made a resolution. I'm not uh -huh. starting a new book until I finish those that I've got on the go. I, I think you're being too rigid. I think you just read, you know, it's enjoyable, right? And you read, you can come back to books and you can have a big stack by the bedside, but whatever lures you. Um, this is a great um, fiction. Oh. It's always been a hot seller, and it oh. keeps increasing. Oh, I like the and look this of is this. trust. It trust. takes about relationships, ego. It takes place in, oh. in New York in the 20s, oh. and it's uh, two books in one. There's a, a narration that kind of all comes together, and that is it's just fabulous. And then you know we sell used books at the store, used and rare books. So I always like to you know go back to some old classics. Everybody's traveling right now. Mark Twain, The Innocence Isn't Abroad. Isn't it hard to read Mark Twain in the Not original? At all. He's so funny. It's ironic. It's honest. It's going back in the 1867 when he traveled right. from New York to Europe to, um, to the biblical lands. Wow. <laughs> that, do you ever read online? A book? Never. I never do. You're I'm a real crinkle of the I page. Am. This, is, this is my religion, yes. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you for this. Really, very, very kind of you. If I was to read one of those, which one would it be? Oh, just one. I think this would be kind of fun, but you can have any one of them. What would you like? Oh, that's and awful. I have, a, I, have a, I have a bag for you. Right. Do you need? I'll have a think about it. My profitable moment. I'll have you decided. know what? I'm going to give no, you all of them. No, no, no. <laughs> You're just making my problem worse. Now I've got more books to read. Thank I'll you. I'll send you some. Thank you. Thank you very much.